Like, what do you get when you mix colors that are more than one color? Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine the Science Queen again. Christine the Science Queen. Chris, 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 Chris. It's been a while since I've donned this lab coat but I'm ready to do some science today because we're going to answer the very important research question. What happens when you mix all the hollow taco polishes together? What color does it make? Will it be holographic, iridescent? Will it be purple? What fun are the hollow taco product developers having in the lab without me? I want to know. <laughs> Why am I doing this, you ask? Well, because it's my birthday, so that means I get to do whatever I want. <laughs> Most people want to do something fun or outdoorsy or have like a virtual birthday party with others. Not me, uh-uh. This girl wants to mix nail polishes by herself in her basement. <laughs> Yeah. Since I launched my nail polish line Hollow Taco last year, we've released 32 different nail polishes, excluding top and base coats. Wait, 32 different nail polishes? I'm 32 years old today. Conspiracy. We have the Launch Collection, Hollow Days, Unicorn Skin Collection, Rainbow Linear Hollows, First Anniversary Flakies, Menchie and Zyler Hollows, and the Multichrome Collection. And guess what? We also have... my new limited edition birthday polish. So you want a party, but has anyone got cake? This polish does. It's a special blend of hollow flakes, silver foil flakes, and purple to pink iridescent shimmer that looks like icing on the cake. It comes in a cute purple hollow box. And in true hollow taco style, you can wear got cake in more than one way. This year, I'll be celebrating my birthday by myself painting my nails. Not that that's much different than any other year, but now it's more socially acceptable and in fact, encouraged. I love it. <laughs> all right, let's discuss how we're gonna conduct this experiment. Ultimately, I wanna mix all 32, I mean 33, now that we have this one, of these polishes together in equal parts but I also, just out of curiosity, kind of want to mix them in their own separate individual subgroups by polish finish. I've got a bunch of baby beakers for the mixing subgroups and then a bigger beaker for the final result. Who wants to drink out of this cup? Enough talk, more mixing. First up, the cremes. So I'm aiming for an even amount of each polish in the mix here but I also don't want to dump out an entire bottle of each polish because then I would just end up with way too much of the super mix at the end, so we gotta keep it reasonable, okay? The measurement approach I'm using is called the two second pour, which measures exactly however much pours out in two seconds. Even though I appreciate precision and could measure out, say, a tablespoon of each polish, you end up wasting more that way because the polish will coat and stick to the spoon. And here's the four cremes, let's mix. much grayer and desaturated than I thought. Hey Christian, it only took four shades to make this gray. Wow, what a wonderful cold steel gray. It's actually quite nice. Looks like my favorite shade of uninviting wall paint. Next up, hollow glitters. I hypothesize they will be purple because I already did this actually in a hollow taco video last year. <laughs> Even though they didn't include Menchie and Xyler polishes at the time, I still think the end result is gonna be purple. Should I just shut up and let you observe this mix in peace? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Pretty rich berry purple hollow with so much going on up close because there's at least seven different colors of hollow glitter in there, not just silver hollow. So very unique, very pretty. 
All right, next up we've got all the fun toppers. So that's three unicorn skins, three silver holographic toppers, and three colored flaky hollow toppers, which I hypothesize will look amazing. <laughs> Now, even though there is some color in the first anniversary flakes, purple, blue, and gold, it's the flake itself that is colored and not the base pigment, meaning the colors won't bleed and blend into each other. So mixing a bunch of toppers in a clear base is the only time a mix will not really be a surprise in terms of what shade it will turn. Like, we know it's still gonna have a clear base. It's just a question of how will your eyes handle nine different special hollow or unicorn skin effects. wonderful, but we gotta put it over black to really see the composition. Mmm, yes. The unicorn skins definitely show the most, but upon blurring, you can see the hollow flare. Wonderful. And reminds me of that time I put all nine of these toppers on my nails at once in my Instagram and Snapchat stories. hollows. I bet these will blend very nicely and look like a rich brownish purple linear hollow. Well, I'm glad I paid attention in grade three because now I know that mixing the primary and secondary colors of the color wheel make brown. These being all the same linear hollow formula really does make this one a fun experiment too because the formulas aren't competing with each other. It's just truly a color theory experiment. Is that brown? Or maybe it's a little more purple leaning brown? It's like a deep dark espresso eggplant maybe? Wow, I actually wanna make a shade like this now. <laughs> it is speaking to me. All right, our last subgroup to mix is multichromes. I have no idea what this is gonna result in. <laughs> like what do you get when you mix colors that are more than one color? What does that even mean? <laughs> After playing around with mixing multi-chrome nail powders that one time, however, if you recall, I do think that something similar will happen when you mix too many shifting color pigments together. They kind of neutralize the effect of shifting colors and they end up kind of all just blending together and gives you a much more flatter metallic effect that ends up looking kind of silverish, maybe a gunmetal, maybe leaning a bit purple or brown. But I honestly don't know, so let's find out. Oops, there's a Menchie hair in the lab. Who let the cats run quality control, my god. Well, the lighting on this one is not working out, so it's time to crack out the phone flash. Yes, there we go, multi-chrome and stay home and mix your nail polish, everybody. What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Ooh, it's looking icy blue, maybe a steel teal. But does it shift? Yep, look at that, purple to an icy teal color. Seems to me like mist shift and blue ain't slick were the most predominant colors here, very cool. And now we're actually going to mix all the hollow tacos together. Hmm, nail polish dries fast, doesn't it? <laughs> here we've got the creme mixture, which I don't have much of because there was only four. The hollow glitters. Whoop. Beautiful, stunning. All the hollow taco toppers and flakies. <laughs> Simply Extra. I should make a nail polish that just has literally every finish in it and just call it Simply Extra. <laughs> All the beautiful rainbow linear hollows. They have turned into the dark rainbow. The multi-chrome multi-mix. And finally, got cake. Woo! <laughs> Ice me, baby. Wow, this actually like suits this mix because it's got a hint of purple already. <laughs> Before I mix it, let's hypothesize. I hypothesize the final result will be purple. Why when you mix everything, it just turns out purple? Rainbow hollows, purple. Hollow glitters, purple. Business and pleasure, purple. I also think it'll be hollow because hollow taco has a higher proportion of nail polishes with hollow than it does not. 21 out of 33 are hollow, what's that? 64%. Opaque cremes do, however, kill hollow, so it is possible that the hollow isn't as prominent, but there's only one way to find out. Uh, I'm scared, ready? <laughs> Wow, it 
is so dark like my soul. <laughs> oh, I've been breathing a lot in. <laughs> and it definitely looks mostly hollow, but there's this kind of mysterious iciness to it that I'm assuming is mostly the multi-chrome polishes because when they mix, there was like an icy blue. And then occasionally you'll see a pop of unicorn skin in there. It's really pretty. I think it could have been a little punchier had I not added the four creme polishes because creme will ultimately kind of muddy the hollow a bit. But it's nice. It's like a desaturated dark fall berry purple. Perfect for spooky season. <laughs> All right, let's pour it in a hollow taco bottle to make it official. she is. Wow. New remix edition, unreleased Holo Taco that will never be released. <laughs> but you could make it yourself in theory if you want to. I've seen people wait until they're out of glossy taco and then clean out that bottle with a little bit of nail polish in there and then they have an empty bottle in which to mix their own concoction. Very smart. All right, who wants to see this on my nails? Then I guess it's time to peel off my birthday suit. It's my party and I'll peel if I want to. Peel if I want to. All right, I've got my peely base on. And now I'm gonna apply all the hollow tacos in one bottle. Comment down below a better name than all the hollow tacos in a bottle. Mmm. Hold on. There's a menchie hair in the lab. Wow. It's pretty good coverage in one coat. It's a very dusty shade. I feel like it's a really nice winter cardigan color that one of my coworkers might wear. Second coat. Full coverage in two coats. And don't forget to add a nice thick coat of glossy taco to finish off your manicure. I'm happy with the end result. I'm not surprised that it's purple. Kind of dark, a little demure, a little reserved. Not totally my style. I do think it would look better, to be honest, if I didn't include the four cremes because the thick opaque cremes tend to muddy the hollow a bit. And I think it would have been way more like bam powerful hollow if we didn't have any cremes in here. I guess this proves that it looks better when you layer different types of nail polishes on top of each other rather than mixing them all together. I mean, it's nice, but I still prefer my birthday polish. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? I know where this is since I rearranged my shelves. That time I mixed 500 hollows. They're both dark, like desaturated purple. <laughs> what do you know, science? It's funny because mixing these 33 hollow taco polishes was a lot easier than mixing 500 polishes together. <laughs> do people still make mixing videos? Sophia kind of made that her thing for a while and I still feel like there's some more things that she could mix. Comment down below what other things Sophia could mix in one of her videos. <laughs> what else could I mix? I've already done nail powders, I've done nail polish, and I've done tea. Remember that a few years back. What about mixing all my shampoos together? Mixing all my socks together in the laundry? Mixing all the hair dyes at the drugstore? <laughs> mixing every type of Subway sandwich together on one sandwich? Mixing all my protein powders together? Actually, I might do that one because uh, I am disgusting. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for your support on the new Holo Taco stuff. And thank you for wishing me happy birthday. And Christine, the science queen, we'll see y'all later. Bye!